Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be talking about Xbox Cloud Gaming on Xbox.com. Uh, so it's been available for a little while on Android uh, and PC devices that run Windows, but because of the way Apple runs their ecosystem, Microsoft had to kind of go the roundabout way, but it is now available in beta, in quotation marks. Uh, it will be available to everyone very soon, so you won't have to worry about this first part here. So basically what you want to do is first make sure that on your Mac or iOS device you have the most updated version of the OS. So for Big Sur, which is the Mac operating system, it needs to be Big Sur version 11.3. And for iOS, it needs to be iOS version 14.5. Uh, so again, you can check your Mac version by going to the little Apple icon in the left-hand corner here and go to About This Mac and then go and you can see what version you are running. Now on this Mac here, uh, I'm not running the newest version because I don't want to mess up my recording software. Uh, but right here on my iOS device, I am running version 14.5, so we shouldn't have any issues there. Once we're here, we're going to scroll down here. I'm going to show you both the uh, desktop on the Mac and the iOS version at the same time here. You can scroll down here, as you can see I'm doing on my iPhone, and then go to ready to try the beta, sign in. Right now it is email invite only, but again, that will be removed very soon. Go ahead and sign in to your Xbox account. All right, once you are signed in and you have the most recent version of iOS or macOS, you can see here that we can now scroll through the different games that are available. Now remember, the games that are available are going to be dependent upon whether or not you have Game Pass, you have Game Pass Ultimate, what version you have, you know how all that works, right? So basically we can go here now and we can scroll through the different games here. So I'm scrolling through on my iPhone the different games, and for some reason they like for you to add the cloud gaming to your homepage on iOS. So in order to do that, you would just go here to the URL and then hit the icon at the bottom, the little square with the arrow, tap that, and then go to add to home screen. And then when you do that, it'll add it to where you can easily see you have it here. I can easily access cloud gaming right from my home screen. Now, once everything is set up and you are logged in on your iOS device, or as you can see right here on my Mac OS here on my MacBook, what you can then do is scroll through the game library here and tap on a game that you want to play. Now, you're going to see a green play button. If everything is set up appropriately, you will not see an exclamation point there surrounded by a triangle. But if we tap on this here, you can see my browser is supported, my network is supported, but I have no controller connected. Now, with the new update to iOS 14.5 and macOS 11.3, you actually have the ability now to connect the new PS5 and Xbox Series X and S controllers. So whichever one you have available to you, you can now connect those. I will be doing a future video showing you how to do that. It's very simple. You just go into the Bluetooth settings and then just press whatever buttons it requires on the specific controller to open up Bluetooth mode make it discoverable and you're good to go. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead now and connect my PS5 controller. And to connect the PS5 controller, as you see here under my Bluetooth settings, you just hold down the PlayStation power button plus the create button in the upper left-hand corner of the, of the controller. And then you can see here DualSense wireless controller. I will tap on that. And then if it works correctly, yes, it is now connected. Now we go back over here to the xCloud gaming app here on the iOS device. And now the button is green and it says play. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the green play button. It says setting up your stream. Again, it is in beta, so there is going to be probably some lag and some bugs, but hopefully if you're watching this at a later date, that will not be the case. It goes the same for the Mac OS as well. So if we go down here, we select a game. So I'm gonna select the same game. You will then see the green play button here. You click it and you can see all the things here for you to check. Make sure you connect the controller. Again, the same thing goes for here. Just connect the controller via the Bluetooth settings for this to work. All right, so the game is indeed booting up right here. So I am now playing MLB The Show, the new one, 2021, on my iPhone here with the PS5 controller. So um, it's loading up, so it's taking a little while to load here. Uh, and if you look in the upper uh, corner of the screen here, we can tap on that and see that my net network, if your network's having issues, if it's lagging, that, that icon will, will be available to you there. All right, now as you can see here, we can go through here and begin playing the game. And I'm using the PlayStation 5 controller. You can use the older controllers. You can use the Xbox Series X or Series X controllers. 
uh, it really does not matter. So now you can see here we are in the game. Very small. Uh, again, I can make it landscape mode, but for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to. Uh, but we can go through here and we can actually begin to play a game here on the iPhone. If you have any questions about how to set up xCloud on your iOS or Mac OS device, please put those in the comment section below. I will get to that as soon as I possibly can. Don't forget if this video helps you out to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.